Hi everyone, Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, so some good news. Over the last couple of days, I've been getting my book finalised, so it's going to be on Lulu. My book is now called Five Years in Heaven, and it's also got the book The Teachings of Heaven is now attached to it as well. So collectively, this book is 369 pages. I've added some diagrams, I've drawings that I've done. Um, most of them were after I woke up. Um, so they were all done within about two weeks of me getting out of hospital back in 2001 after I died. Okay, so, you know, I sit here and I think about what what video will I do, you know, and it always depends on situations that present into my life where someone will say something to me and ask me a question and then the next day somebody will ask me virtually the same question and I sit here and I think how many other people on the planet have got this same question maybe this is something I should do a video about yeah um, just last week in three days I had 17 phone calls from people different people all up it was like 35 phone calls I had where this one person rang me a few times um, so I do get asked a lot of questions about near-death experience. I get asked a lot of questions about ghosts, spirits. Um, so please know that book is now getting worked on as well, my ghost and spirit book. But today I want to give you all an excerpt from my book, Five Years in Heaven. I'm going to read out about a page or two and explain what it is that I now teach in my works. Okay, so let's get on to it. When I first landed, if you want to call it landed, <laughs> you know, I actually say, um, you know, my situation, there was a lot of similarities with other people who've had near-death experiences. And there's a lot of those commonalities that existed. You know, there's some things that I think, wow, I didn't see that. And then other people read mine and they say, wow, I never saw that. So, you know, but you've got to look at these commonalities. And one of the commonalities is a lot of people, when they arrive in heaven, they land in this field of flowers where I landed. So I actually made a joke with Mike Cavalli a few weeks ago, you know, because I do his um, on Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Brisbane time. We do a live show on Facebook and it's called um, Medium Mike Cavalli is where he is. So I'll put his link down in the um, comments in case you want to go and watch our shows. It's on Facebook, by the way. And, um, you know, he, I said to him, is there like an X on the, on this field? You know, like an X marks the spot where coming in, there's one coming in, beam me down Scotty type thing. <laughs> because there's so many people who do land in this field of flowers. So it must be like a portal or a vortex or some sort of stargate sort of, sort of situation where people do land in this field of flowers, okay? Anyway, so the questions that I've been getting asked a lot this week, because um, I'm just going to say it, isolation and lockdowns, etc. A lot of people aren't getting out and seeing people. And I'm talking now all over the planet. You know, I had a lovely phone call the other day from a lady in Belgium. Um, and she was telling me how, you know, she can't even go and see her family. And when she does, it's got to be the elbow hug. You know, they have to touch elbows because they're not allowed to use their hands over there. Um, people in Austra um, Australia have been asking me this too. People in um, Europe, all over Europe, um, Southeast Asia, um, I've got people in America, Canada, Mexico, Portugal, even Argentina. People have contacted me and said, Linda, what is happening? Is this spiritual? You know, and my first answer is no, this is not spiritual because they're trying to stop our energetic connection. So I think it's important today that I do this excerpt from my book where I explain this a little bit in depth, okay? Not too deep because I don't like really giving it to people where they just think, what the hell? So I try and do it in layman's terms where people can sort of fathom what it is that I know because I've had this golden opportunity of going to heaven for years where I understand it. You know, to me it's normal and when I have to explain it, it, it can get quite hard trying to explain or describe something that I know into actual words of a language, okay? So... 
In my book, it's called Five Years in Heaven. I'm going to read an excerpt today. And it's the, it's the paragraph here where I talk about hugging and cuddling. Okay, here we go. Straight from my book, Five Years in Heaven. I am now writing this in the year 2021. A few weeks ago, I saw a drawing whereby the artist drew a new arrival at the pearly gates. And the other people were there with their arms spread out and they were all hugging each other as the new arrival entered heaven. I knew instantly that I had to mention this drawing, for this was not an actual, an accurate depiction of what I experienced. Now, you've got to remember here, guys, I only talk about my experience. I don't plagiarize, and I certainly do not steal other people's works, okay? I don't do that. So everything in this book is what happened to me. So here we go. It was normal for me to understand why no one physically touched another in this place. When I approached other people or animals here, there was no hugs required. When um, here on earth, we connect through that physical connection with others. And that is why we hug and cuddle our loved ones. When we physically touch someone else, we are then connecting to that energy that the other person emits. However, in this place, there was no need for hugging or cuddling. It was far deeper than that physical connection. To allow the reader to comprehend this, please remember a time when you hugged someone and you felt that comfort or that love being received into your body from the other person. This emotion of that comfort, that love, or should I say that acceptance, was constant and always available in this place. There was no need to hug someone in order to feel that euphoric sensation of that love or peace. For love and peace was everywhere and everything. I realized this very early after arising, arriving in this place, that our physical bodies were not present. We are all energetic beings and the universe where heaven resides is also that same energetic place. When I concentrated or simply thought about someone or something specific in this place, I was instantly transformed into a oneness with that other entity that I had thought about. We were instantly connected, joined, unified into one entity. And then I call it, I, I was actually saying bold, penetration of an energetic magnitude so um yeah so then i go on to talking about other things but what i want to explain it as guys you know when you see videos etc where they overlap or overlay one picture over another so the first one becomes transparent so you can still see the other one through it so you can still see the both like both hands okay it's sort of like that, because when we're in heaven, we connect in to everything else. So when I was looking at the mountain off in the ranges over way, 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 miles and miles and miles away, as soon as I concentrated on that mountain, I was the mountain. It was like my consciousness was inside that object just like the linda life here now my linda body i was inside this object of linda and then i became the mountain so the mountain and the linda were exactly the same so this is where i start to lose people because it goes straight over people's heads okay so everything to keep this um sort of in layman's terms okay if you think of energy, protons, electrons, and neurons, right? They have become atoms, yeah? We all know that one, okay? So science is pretty specific there. And if you look at the definition of what atoms do um, and the energy that they create, whether it's neutral, positive, or um, negative, okay? So when we're up in there, it's all positive energy, okay? There's no negative or, or um, what I would call neutral energy. It's all positive. So when we create this 
charge this electricity within us which is like um these um what i would call positive fueled atoms okay we go into heaven and our atom of our existence which is our consciousness and our thoughts okay it becomes the other so it's like an overlay and it's not just with one you can become everything you look around your house every object every piece of clothing that you've got everything in your house every plant every blade of grass growing in your garden or the local park you become one with everything and then as you concentrate back onto yourself you can single out just one blade of grass and become that one blade of grass so then you're feeling what all the other blades of grass around you are feeling like separately okay so you know it's it's um important at this point with um especially what's happening now in australia <laughs> from the fifth um from the 17th of december next week um you know it's today is the 9th of december 2021 so in about a week there's going to be a lot of people who can't go out to social gatherings and these are the ones that are ringing me up and saying oh my gosh um you know how do i go and hug my friends where do i see them well they can still come to your house you can still meet them in a park you can still go grocery shopping together it's you know it's not that bad just yet you know um so they can't just annihilate us and stick us into our homes okay um so at the end of the day getting back to my book 5 years in heaven what i learned is that energy energy like electricity a charge okay a charge i'll just call it like a, a charge of energy or power when we emit this from one person to the next it does attach to them okay it does attach to them if they consent to it in heaven we all consent to it because we're already on the same frequency so here on earth you know everybody operates at different frequencies unfortunately you know some people have the lowered vibrations are down here other people have raised themselves up to virtually be in ascended master level of energy so you've got all these like rungs on a ladder where everybody operates at different energies so if someone's down here and they're putting out um like negative energy to somebody and that person has a higher frequency that energy can't att attract to it and it doesn't attach it doesn't work okay um yeah so basically here if you if you do have somebody that lives somewhere where you're not allowed to go or you can't see them for some reason you can still energetically hug them that's what i'm trying to get here today we can still energetically hug them because our energy is never ending it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't stop or start and it's never recreated it's always constant if you know this is science 101 correct science um energy is constant it only changes through the neurons the protons and the electrons whether it stays as negative positive or neutral charges okay so when we go to heaven it's always only positive charges bang 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 it's beautiful okay so i hope that i've given you guys a little bit of a heads up now my book 5 years in heaven if you do want a hard copy it's going to be available on lulu l u l u dot com and it will be available by the end of january 2022 if you want a hard, um a e version which is the pdf that i'm reading from now on my website i have it now available for sale okay you can go on there it's actually cheaper than buying the hard copy okay i will go there um obviously cuz it's a pdf so if you go over to my website www.lindaray l y n d a r a e dot info um on the web store i have a link there where you can buy 5 years in heaven and i'll put the comments in the comments below this video i will put the link in there if you do want to go buy one through paypal okay um yeah 369 pages it is now wow i'm so excited for it you know um so i hope that i've given you guys a little bit of inkling now um that even though i'm not near people you know i've got friends now that live in um europe including Mike Cavalli in Austria 
I'll also put Mike's link to our Wednesday night show. I'll put that in here as well. So if you do want to watch us, it's Wednesday, 7 p.m. Brisbane time. So you can all you've got to do is ask Google and say, hey, what time is it right now in Brisbane, Australia? And it will come up with the time difference for where you are. Okay. So we do that show on Wednesday nights. Um, great, awesome show. We show some really cool f footage in there about NDEs, angels, ghosts, um, um, other crazy things that people do that are all psychic abilities. Okay, gives us an inkling of what we can do as as ourselves and natural abilities. Um, and I'll put some other links in there too if you're interested. So please look at the description of this video and see what the links are. Okay, okay. So if you've got any comments, please make them. I love my feedback. Okay. And um, next week, I do have a week, pretty um, busy weekend coming up. I've got my Friday night ghost story that I've already worked on. That's coming out Friday night. Sunday, I've got my tarot. Yay, I cannot wait to see what the next week for our tarot will be. So please stay tuned for that one. And next week, I've got a couple of videos already in the works. Um, how funny it's called works because one of the videos I am working on is how work works. Okay. Um, yeah, so if you've got any ideas of videos, please comment below or email me at Linda, L-Y-N-D-A, at Linda Ray, L-Y-N-D-A, R-A-E, dot info. Hope you are all having a great day wherever you are on the planet. And just remember, the only reason why you're so far away from me is only geography. Because at the end of the day, when you close your eyes, I am with you, for everything is one. Everything is right here in our present, our awareness, because it's our consciousness. Okay, guys, that's how it works in heaven. So it only works here too, because we, we get so consumed by this three-dimensional world. Okay, so have a great weekend coming up, guys. And hope you all look stay around for my next ghost story, because it's a good one. Talk to you all soon. Have a great day, good evening, or good night. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.